We have breaking news as according to reports, Addison Berger is headed to the Toronto Blue Jays. It is not official yet. We don't know what the corresponding move is, but what we do know is that he is headed to the Toronto Blue Jays and will provide a much needed boost to the offense that has quite frankly been lackluster to start the year. So this is huge and we're going to break it down and much more coming up next. What's up, Jays fans? Nick Goss here, host of Jays Digest. Breaking news that just dropped. And again, it is not official yet, but I'll show you the report that came out. And we have to discuss this, especially after yesterday's brutal loss. They lost to the Kansas City Royals on Vladimir Guerrero Jr.'s error. And vibes right now are pretty low if you're the Toronto Blue Jays and you're the Toronto Blue Jays fan base like we all are who are watching the video. They're now 13-11 and 11 and kind of off to a, not an awful start, but the offense has yet to or has scored more than five runs like three times the entire year, which is tied for worse in the league with the Oakland Athletics. But we're not going to talk about that today. What we're going to talk about is Johnny Sources and Addison Berger. So this just dropped about 20 or 25 minutes ago. Breaking news, Addison Berger has been called up to the Toronto Blue Jays per Sources. Please credit when it happens. Hashtag Johnny Sources. You're unfamiliar with Johnny Junta. He is obviously host of the Gate 14 podcast. He is friends with a lot of these guys. He's friends with Chris Bassett. He's friends with a lot of the guys in the Bisons Club. He's obviously friends with David Schneider as well. So my guess is he got texted um, by Berger, by someone in the organization that Addison Berger is getting called up in. He probably got texted from one of his teammates that he's friends with in AAA. So when Addison, when Johnny Junta tweets this, he is, uh, he is right every single time. So we're going to take that. But again, we don't know what the corresponding move is yet because it's not fully official but by all accounts he is fully legit obviously johnny junta and uh barger is going to be coming up and he has broken a bunch of other call-ups uh before including some uh, some other big ones but let's discuss this now obviously yesterday we don't know who is going to be kind of taken from the roster we have to assume that it's kevin kiermeyer who left yesterday's game with left hip flexor discomfort and he's being looked at in his day-to-day -day. but I would not be surprised if they put him on the IL, maybe the 15-day IL, and they give Addison Berger a spot who has been playing right field or the outfield as of late, and he has an absolute cannon of an arm. I am super excited. He might even slot into the roster tonight depending on how fast he can get to Kansas City from Boston, or from Buffalo, sorry, with the Bisons, but this is, now, this is going to be big. We obviously have made tons of videos discussing Aurelvis Martinez, discussing, I mean, Addison Berger and a lot of these guys, even Palmigiano has been unbelievable. It's about time we get some of them called up because this offense has been absolutely lackluster and it's something that needs to be fixed. But when you're looking at Addison Berger's stats this year, wow, 1,000 plus OPS. And again, if you've been keeping up with him, he has been absolutely crushing it. Three home runs, 21 RBIs, 435 on base percentage. Like This is as good of a uh, start to the season as you possibly could have asked for. He's walking, he's striking out way less, only 15 Ks and 50 and 70 um, or in 70 at bats like he is doing exactly what he had to do to get up to the team and he's 24 years old he's not as young as a Robles Martinez or 22 or some of these other guys he is forcing himself onto this team and it looks like he did it there was a lot of rumors or not even rumors of fans saying these guys are gonna be forcing themselves onto the team very soon obviously specifically talking about a Robles Martinez but now that we're talking about Addison Berger he He's here. He is here, and it is super exciting. You got this from Chris Clegg, uh, I believe an MLB writer. He said, as a Berger, so, so underrated. Just blasted another home run today, which is a few days ago. 106.7 off the bat. He has an average exit velocity near 91, 50% hard hit rate, contact rate north of 80%, and an in-zone clip. These are all advanced metrics, but they're still pretty solid. He and Aurelvis Martinez are going to be in Toronto soon. Three days later, they call up Berger. Now, I still think Aurelvis Martinez is going to be up soon, and I think by maybe halfway through the year, probably both of them will be up if this offense continues to be lackluster. But Arelvis Martinez cannot play the outfield or is yet to play the outfield uh, for the Bisons this year and over the past few years. He's primarily an infielder, originally a shortstop, changed to third baseman, now moving over to second base. And the Jays obviously have tons of players who are playing well there. AKF is playing great. David Schneider is playing great. Kevin Biggio is playing great. So you obviously don't want to put um, any of those guys in the bench or send them down necessarily. So that's why they're obviously going to be putting uh, Aurelvis Martinez or keeping Aurelvis Martinez in AAA. But you got an injury from Kevin Kiermeyer, and this is the chance, a bit of an excuse perhaps, for them to get Addison Berger up, get him to play the outfield. If you're unfamiliar with this game, he hits absolute nukes. He hits moonshots. His defense is okay. Like, his reads are decent, but he has an absolute cannon. Think maybe Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Now, I'm not going to say Berger's routes are as bad as Lourdes's were, where that's yet to be seen, but he has an absolute cannon of an arm. He plays right field primarily, and it is going to be exciting to see 
what this guy can do in the major leagues like he has a chance the jays need power they need offense and the best i mean ross atkins and company didn't address this at uh in the offseason they didn't really address at the deadline last year they didn't get a guy like jd martinez or jorge soler or another or even bring back matt chapman who hasn't been good at all they made the right call there but they didn't get one of those big bats aside from justin turner who is very good but they needed to add another one we needed two bats especially with how bad vladdy and Bo have been to start the year Maybe Addison Barger will be that guy. They spoke in the offseason about their confidence in these prospects that we have in the system, specifically Arelvis and Barger. Now it's Barger's time to come up, show them what he got, and if he can give a big spark to this offense, then it's going to be looking very good because we know how good the pitching is. We know how good the fielding is, aside from yesterday. We know how good uh, the defense is. If you can get the offense going, this is a very scary team. We're still 13-11, and 11, lots of time left, a decent record. The AL East is brutal, but teams are starting to cool off a little bit. And Berger is scary. And you're looking at the Blue Jays' offense like you have nothing to lose. We're currently fourth in the AL East, 13-11, and 11, tied with Boston. Like, there's only three games back. Lots of room. You think about this time last year when the Rays were, they started off crazy, like 12-0, and 0, and then they finished like 20-3 and 3 or 20-4, and 4, whatever it was. Now... There's still not a huge gap between the fourth place team and the Jays and the first place team and the Yankees. And you know they're going to be playing them lots. And when you look at the 2024 batting stats there, they rank last or near last or in the bottom 20 of a lot of these categories. They're not hitting many home runs. They're not hitting many um, hits in general, not scoring a lot of runs. Some of the good things, like they're not hitting for average, but you can see some peripherals there. They're getting on base a lot they're striking out way less so if you can add a guy into that who comes in and hits for power you're going to be in a very good spot and you're looking at the pitching it's mostly green very very good team pitching the starters have been amazing the bullpen had some blips that's why the era is a bit higher but uh, they do we do give up the jays do give up a lot of home runs this kind of gives a good outline of how the jays are so far this season if you get addison barger in there to help the offense which is the one thing they are desperately lacking you're going to be looking a little bit better. And we obviously touched on Varsho as having a breakout year. Like, Varsho and Turner are playing unbelievable baseball. Obviously, Vladdy and Bo and Springer are not. You add another hitter in Addison Barger to play the outfield and in theory would replace Kevin Kiermaier's um, time on the field. You're obviously subtracting some defense, but you can handle that because now you put Varsho in center field who's playing every day anyway because of how hot he is. His value goes up. Berger provides some offense. His value goes up. who will probably play left field because Springer's going to be playing right field. And then hopefully Springer and the guys and the boys get going. You're looking at a decent team here. And then maybe later on in the season, you get a Relvis. You acquire some other bats. Like There's a lot to like here. It's just a matter of if they can get it done. But yeah, that'll wrap it up. Let me know what your thoughts are. Again, this will most likely become official later today. Um presumably before the game tonight we're not 100 percent sure again johnny junta has been right um on every single one of these so we're going to take his word for it and if he ends up being wrong then uh, i highly doubt that'll happen and i suspect that kiermeyer might be headed down and uh, yeah it was a good talking point either way but this should end up being uh exciting and i'm excited for all of us to watch addison Berger take some at bats at the major league level see you later